What is up guys in today's video I have another spectating players video you guys have told me that the last ones were pretty helpful to you And in this video I try my best to focus on player rotation So explaining like where I would go and what I would do if I was a player I was spectating because you guys have commented a lot letting me know like rotations is something that you really struggle with So try to talk about it as much as I can in this video and explaining it from the perspective of the players that we're spectating if you guys do find this video helpful or informative remember to give a like subscribe if you would like to see more and comment down below uh just literally anything just leave a comment and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching all right we're gonna go rocky reels i think a good amount of people go here in zero build and in today's spectating video i'm gonna try my best to kind of focus on like player rotations and like where i would go and where i would position because that seems to be something a lot of you struggle with based on comments i've seen um, I've been trying to record this video for a while. I keep getting in like games where, uh, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was worth posting. It's like the third game I've tried to spectate. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I was hoping there'd be a good amount of people here, but it doesn't really seem like there is. We got like four total. This guy is not playing around, bro. Holy. All right. I'm going to be on board with overthrow. Hopefully overthrow. Hopefully it's a good indication of what's to come. He has somebody coming up underneath him on the stairs and he's going to need both of the staircases. That way they can't come up. That is interesting. He's also getting grappled on by somebody. This could be a problem for him. Or maybe the grappler isn't coming here. I don't know. There was somebody like grappling around nearby. And like nading those stairs, you could argue like that's a good play because it prevents the other person from pushing him. But really all it does is stall that fight out and he doesn't really have anything. Like if I was him, I would have rather fought that player right away. Because the player probably also didn't have anything. Whereas now, he's wasted so much time in this fight. He hasn't accumulated any more loot. And then I still think there's another player to deal with. Yeah, so there's other people at the other buildings. Like, the way he played that was just very, very bad, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't know why he was so intent on just stopping the other player from getting to him. It, it didn't really do anything. But now we have Chili Rag to Knees? Chill Rag Knees? I don't know how to say this. But... He's very vulnerable right now. There's another player at these buildings here. Like, they were just fighting there. So if I was him, I would... One, I would want to get that crown. But two, I'd also want to, like, put myself in a position to potentially third-party that fight. Shoot that up. Being in the middle here in Rocky is really bad. I, if I come to this POI, I want to work on, like, the outside edges. Is it, if you're in middle, you can just shot, get shot by anybody. This person just fought once again. I don't think they took much damage here. He could use those boogie bombs to get a free pump shot. And he's just going to get the easy kill with the SMG. No problem. That ends up working out just fine. But that was kind of scuffed. Okay, so now we're going to talk about rotations. I'm going to try to talk about rotations on every zone unless there's a lot going on. But right now is the perfect time. If I was this player, I would try to rotate up through here. We just heard a sniper shoot over here. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I did. Um, I know the audio is a bit different on the video than it is for me. But there's a sniper over here in this field somewhere. That's fine. Um, but I would want to get to this mountain here. This tower is nice. And then from this tower, you could see what's going on in Tilted. You could see what's going on here. You could see this area here. You could see this area here. You can get so much information from that tower there and then like play accordingly. You know, like if you see somebody there, you can kill them. Get third party fights in Tilted. You could just do so much from here. So that's personally where I would go. If all you wanted to do is win and you don't care about anything else, you just, if you get one kill in the win and you kill the last person, that's fine for you. Then you could probably rotate along this outside edge here and odds are zone is going to go somewhere over here. Like, I don't know how to describe really why that's the case, but typically zone rotates to where more of zone is. So I feel like this zone will shrink and it'll be here and then it'll be here and then it'll probably end up like somewhere over here. I would imagine I could be wrong on that. We'll see. But my guess it would be somewhere here. So if you only wanted to like win and play it safe rotate along the outside edge here and then come up this way and odds are there's not going to be very many people in this area so you can rotate for free get the loot for free and then also since there's not people there you're not really fighting in that time um if you want to get kills you could do like what i said before where you rotate to this mountain clear this area rotate to this mountain you can see this area over here you can maybe go middle from there but you'd basically be clearing this entire part of zone going from position of advantage to position of advantage just took the shotgun shot. He might be dead here. That player backed off though. This prime shotgun is really interesting because it hits hard on the first shot. He might want to shockwave away from this. That player just put a port of fort down. There's another guy that just ziplined up. He's too like tunnel vision on the like person who's fighting before though. Because there's a guy to his right that just came up. Yeah, he's dead here. That is like the oldest mistake in the book. I feel like is people being like too tunnel vision on the person they're fighting. And not enough of what was going on around them. Because you heard the zipline get hit. So, like, he 
at least had the audio cue that this player was there. But he just like made himself a really free kill for that player because he got a little too like focused. And I feel like the best thing to do there would be to just straight up leave. Maybe wait where, when he was on that little under part of the mountain. Maybe wait there and see if these two players fight. Or maybe when you see that that, uh, I think it's a recon expert when you, or recon agent, I think is what it's called. I forget the names. But the skin he ended up killing, if you let that guy leave and then focus on this guy, then maybe you don't die to him if he just shockwaves straight onto the port of fort. But instead, he really wanted that one kill, and then for that, he died. So I, I really don't think that was very valuable. And this player seems to just be camping in the port of fort. I'm not really sure what this person is doing. I'm probably just going to go to a different player. This person's camping in the passenger seat of a car. What the heck, man? Or maybe they're not. Right, we're going to have a fight here. This person has a sidearm pistol, a hammer AR, shockwaves, slurpfish, and shield. Pretty interesting loadout. No shotgun. Which I guess you can get by in zero build with no shotgun, but... I feel like you could just as easily like drop this pistol for a sh an auto shotty or even drop the hammer AR for an auto shotty and run pistol shotgun or pistol hammer AR. But he, he's really, really limited on range. I, I feel like in Fortnite, you only have five inventory slots, right? So it's really important that you get the most out of your inventory slots. So when it comes to the weapons you carry, I feel like you want weapons that kind of deal with different ranges. And so when you look at the sidearm pistol, what it's kind of good at is close to medium range. Right? When you look at this hammer AR, what it's good at is like close to medium range once again. Maybe more medium longish than the pistol, but like still, it's not like it's extremely good long range, and it's not like either of these options are extremely good close range either, like a like a shotgun would be. Um And so that's why I kinda don't like this loadout and why I feel like you want to carry weapons that are good at a variety of different ranges, rather than carrying weapons that overlap in ranges or like effectiveness, because then you're just really like kind of throwing away inventory slots there's a weird bug in the game right now where the chest loot goes outside he needs to get on this roof so the moment you hear that player gliding you just want to get up on the roof and he ends up doing that but he does it a little late the player could have landed on the roof um is that player just going to drive away interesting these, these are the types of games i've been getting in though i, I feel like like i said I've, I've tried to spectate many games and i keep just getting in games where like I don't know, people are using weird loadouts and like it's like, kind of clear that they don't really know what's going on. This player's like very limited on ammo, chasing this car. He's probably not going to get this kill. I feel like if I'm him, I take this rift and then I go loot Shifty. Shifty might not be hit and even if it has been lit, there's probably extra loot for him there. But like getting this one kill doesn't matter and he's not even going to get it because this player has an auto shotty and probably has an SMG as well. He's down to only the pistol, and the sidearm pistol is quite good, but... He might win this fight, actually. He shouldn't, though. Yeah, like, that that fish just threw. If the fish didn't throw, then we would have been fine. Or he would have been dead. And like I talked about before with Zone, when we were over at Rocky, and I said if you rotate the outside edge here, you'll probably be in a good spot. That's what happens. He's getting shot by somebody else. See, Shifty was already looted, but there's a variety of weapons here for him. You know, he could take that shotgun. Take that AUG. Like, he, his inventory can get a lot better just from the scraps of this because he was in such a bad position to begin with. There's splashes right in front of him, and there's also a chest. But he seems really intent on not having a shotgun and not having an AUG either. And while I, I do think the sidearm pistol is good, like, it's not, like, only gun in your inventory good. I think that person shooting the pistol is the NPC. It's shooting at wolves. The player is behind him now. Like, up and behind him. Yeah. You heard that player mantle. Audio is so important in this game, guys. If you guys aren't using a headset, at the very least, make sure you're using something like visual audio. I don't use it because I, I don't like it. I think it's overwhelming and distracting. But if you don't have a good sound setup or you don't have a good headset, using something like that can be a huge advantage for you. And even if you do have a good headset, like, visual audio is really overpowered. And, like you saw there. Like, when he has only a pistol and he gets rushed by somebody who has a shotgun, like, he's probably not going to get that kill. There's a legendary chest behind this player under the stairs. Like, I don't know what is up with these people and not hearing things, but under the stairs that he slid down, there was a legendary chest. 
but I don't know if I finished saying what I was saying, but like if you rotated outside edge, like I said before, if all you wanted to do was win, then you would have been fine. And even if zone ended up going over here, then you could still like cut to that area and odds are the more populated sides of zone would be like right here and right here. So you just completely avoid that by hanging out on this part of zone. Um, if I was this player right now, I personally, I would go like, I would try to be over here because I feel like you can get a lot of kills being on this mountain and like catching the rotations. Like there could be a decent amount of players rotating in on this side of zone right here. But once again, if all you wanted to do is win and you don't care about that, drive on this outside edge and then get to the outside edge and then play from there. And we'll see what they're going to go for. They have the truck cannon, the auto shoddy, and the aug. Um, personally, I don't like carrying the truck cannon very much in solos. It is a good weapon, but I feel like its value is much higher in team game modes. You can heal your teammates. And like dedicating two inventory slots to that in solos just really isn't something that I personally want to do. Like we talked about before, you're, you're so limited on slots as it is. But you can kind of make do with it with something like the auto shoddy because you don't really need an SMG. And then if he's comfortable using the AUG at like close-ish close, close -ish medium range, that's fine. But I, if I'm going to carry this loadout, I would swap these minis for something like a grappler or shockwaves. In zero build, so much of fights just comes down to like positioning. And the only items in the game that really correct bad positioning or maybe like can get you out of a bad spot when it comes to positioning are things like the grappler, shockwaves, or even the port of fort like, if somebody happens to have, like, a good line of sight on you and starts shooting you and catches you off guard, then, like, mobility is the only thing that can really, like, save you there. And that's why I think it's so important in zero build. Because it allows you to do more. And then also it allows you to end fights faster, you know? If you get good AUG tags on somebody, and, like, let's say you fry them for 150, then you can shockwave onto them, you can grapple onto them, and you can get that kill. And maybe you would get the kill anyways just by waiting and, like, waiting them out. But getting the kill quickly is really nice because then you don't let that person heal. You maybe get more heals from them when you kill them. And then also you're less likely to get third party if you end fights faster. Like if you have a large HP advantage in a fight, then you, you want to take advantage of that and end it. Player's in the bush and this player just finished a fight too. So they're probably somewhat weak. He's hit like a total of like 60-ish damage, roughly. 80. Oh, this player is stuck under his port of four. This should be a free kill for this aura. He's running low on ammo though on his shotgun. Switch to the AUG, switch to the AUG. And see, this is where mobility would be good because it turned out another player was coming from zone. And if he had something like Shockwaves or a Grappler, then he would have been able to get out of there just fine. But he had no mobility. And so there's no way for him to get out of that fight. It took him too long to kill that other player. And so this guy was able to third party them. If he had a little bit better aim there or switch to the AUG instead of reloading, maybe he gets that kill in time. But I feel like mobility was the only thing that was going to save him. And mainly shockwaves. The grappler is good, but you're probably not going to be able to get out of a situation like that with the grappler because when you try to grapple, they shoot you and then you just, it's on cooldown. But shockwaves there, he definitely could have survived. Also, if he had shockwaves, he could have shockwaved that person out of the bush and into zone. And then not only is that person no longer camping in the bush, you threw them into zone and you could just like fry them with the AUG and that, that would have been a much safer play. But he didn't have that. So he had to just like throw auto shots into the bush and hope for the best and then... His auto shot, he wasn't loaded when they actually had the fight. Like, I feel like you can, I don't know. So many situations are just solved with mobility in this game. I know I talk about it a lot, but like, mobility is key in zero build. This person's loadout, once again, has no mobility. They have a variety of ranges. The, I, I enjoy the hammer AR, but the hammer AR is really just not that good at like long range. Versus something like the AUG, the DMR, or the heavy sniper. Um, but I mean, it could get the job done, but kind of like the hammer and the SMG are overlapping in range a decent amount. So that's why I, I would have taken that purple AUG there. Um, but he chose not to, and then he's just going to wait out zone. I, I don't really know what the point of this is, but he's just going to sit here until zone forces him out. And then he's going to rotate at the last possible second. And if somebody does happen to see him in that moment, then he's probably going to die. He, he does make a play, actually, or he's going now. But a lot of times you'll see people just waiting on the edge of zone, and then they rotate at the last possible second. And then if anything happens, they're pretty screwed because they gave themselves no time to really play with. And potentially that's why they were coming out of zone in the first place. Because, like, this person came upon that aura and that other player fighting. They were running out of zone, and they were really weak because they probably rotated really late. All right. So when zone hits, I'll talk about like rotations and what I would do here. Just 
two seconds. One second. Let's see what zone did. All right. Interesting. So the tree is in zone. Oh, shoot. Don't even know what happened there. He got fried. Player is shockwaving on him. He's got two people on him. This person has somebody behind him. Auto shotty is so good. This person just, oh my gosh. Everything is happening on this side of zone. And if he gets shot at all here, his grapple's done. He gets away. He has no heals though. This is what I'm talking about with all these like, we've seen a lot of weird inventories, but this person's choosing to carry a sniper instead of heals essentially. Um, I think we really missed out on whatever happened there. But that'll happen sometimes in zero build. If you are playing it too close to the edge and you're in a spot where a lot of people got to rotate through, then like everyone just collapses on you. If they went like they were camping this house at one point, if they went like this way, they would have been on more neutral territory. Maybe they do draw more attention to themselves, but the way they did it, they were trying to be too sneaky under this bridge. And then that's what cost them. But for this zone, oh, this is terrible. This house is destroyed. I feel like you don't want to be here. This is going to get a lot of attention on you, but I've, this player's just kind of got to do what they got to do for heals. Um, you could go over there. I would go over there and eat those mushrooms, probably. But for this zone, I really don't know where you want to be. This tree might be the best spot, or somewhere over here, maybe. There's not really any, like, really good position in zone, but there's areas where you don't want to be, and this area is one of them. We already know that player was over there that was shooting him. Tree, I personally don't like being over there, but, like, the person in tree could have eyes on this as well. This entire low ground area over here isn't too good. So I, I feel like one of these hills would probably be the best way, spot to be. But this player probably doesn't have really a route to get there. And instead they're just ratting. They're going to play under this little bridge or whatever this is, walkway. And in hopes that no one sees them. And that's their entire game plan. Is just hoping that no one notices them or no one ever sees them. But if anyone does see them, they're going to have not that good of a fight. And like we were talking about before, this area is so open right now that the rest of the lobby is going to have easy like beams on third partying them if they have something like the AUG or the sniper. I feel like he wants third party this. You, you want to get rid of these people. I say you fry him. There you go. Good. Even if he didn't get the kill there, you take the shockwaves and you kill that because if he has people on that side of zone, he's going to die to them eventually. Or he's going to get in a spot where he's fighting them and the rest of zone at once. But he's able to, like, survive that and kill out his side of zone. So now he's less likely to have to fight multiple angles. But if he let that player live, I, I think that would have been a pretty big mistake. Three people remaining. Turns out ratting actually somewhat worked for him because a lot of people were lingering on in zone right there. But that, that almost could have been bad. If they came right to him and then he had, like, a somewhat, like, neutral fight with them and was trading damage, then, like, look at that hill over there. You see, like, how good of a line of sight they would have had. Or this tree, or the top of the tree, like everywhere would have just had a really nasty line of sight on him. I guess at this point, he could just sit here. Like, he probably knows there's nobody over here because, like, a lot of people just fought right there. So he doesn't have to worry about his back as much. And he just has to worry about, like, the 270 degrees in front of him. But he really doesn't have a position of advantage. All he really has is, like, concealment. Like, if he gets lucky timing, he can win this game. But if somebody comes out a tree and walks right up to him, like the baller there, and he has to fight them, then if there's any players on the hill, then they just probably win the game. But getting the hill at this point in time would be hard, and I don't even think it has zone anymore. So, like, he would have to rotate from there anyway. Someone just died to fall damage. So 1v1v1, and he just saw the baller. In this type of situation, you usually don't want to fight. Um, so, like, what he's doing can work, but I, I just personally don't like it. But the reason why it's not good to fight when it's a 1v1v1, unless you can get the kill really fast, but if you're in a situation where you're going to have a fight that goes long or you're going to take a lot of damage in, it's typically not good to fight in those situations when it's a 1v1v1 because when you're fighting someone, the other player in the lobby is going to know, okay, I don't have to worry about this at all. Or like, I could just go third party that because that's 100% of the lobby, you know? Like it just, it makes it so easy for the person that isn't involved in the fight to get a good third party timing on it because they know the rest of the lobby is there. Um, and that's basically what this player is waiting for. And it seems like that's why every player is waiting for is just to see, do I get the lucky timing? And he doesn't have zone. Someone's landing on him. See, this is potentially bad. Like this player is potentially griefing him. They just landed on him. He's going to hide. But if those two start fighting and then the other person is already in zone, they could just hold them while they're fighting and like maybe hit two aug shots and get the get the win you know this is gonna be messy they both have to rotate i think if you're him you kind of late rotate like what is zone hitting for here 10 oof he does have the meat i think it's 15 a stack so he can maybe late, late rotate in zone 
but this is gonna get messy. You wanna, you kind of wanna play this as sneaky as you can for how he's played. Okay, this player shockwaved away. That's very good for him, because now he go third party it. You can just walk through. But if the player didn't shockwave away, then he would have had to like wait in zone to be able to like rotate behind that player. And you don't want to fight that player because then this person would have held them or whoever was on the route already. This is where shockwaves would be good because he could have shockwaved onto it, but he chose not to pick them earlier. The Starth Vader got a mini off. He's going to get this kill. I think the Chaos Agent wins this. Maybe not. I, I don't know. It's messy. It's awkward. He wins. Alrighty then. That was awkward, but... It shouldn't have needed to come down to that, you know? As soon as the other player shockwaved, you want to get yourself in, like, position of third party. At, like, the moment they're fighting. He's a little, a little hesitant on the third party there, and it almost cost him, you know? He did get the win, but if he missed that shotgun shot, or maybe hit a little weaker, he could have died. He only had 56 HP, so it's definitely possible the other player could have killed him there and won that game. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I hope you learned something useful from this spectating video. I tried my best to focus on rotations and what I would do, like, as far as where I'd put myself in zone depending on what I would want to do because, you know, there's two different types of players. But if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe. If you'd like to see more, comment down below and let me know if you did learn something from this video, if you found it helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.